be described in an equation d squared a over dt squared, which is essentially the acceleration of the scale factor, divided by a is equal to minus 4 pi g over 3. This pi g thing looks extremely similar to Einstein's field equation, by the way. Um, so we don't know what caused the Big Bang, but do we have equations that can describe the, the universe and, and the expansion of the universe? Well, I believe we do. It's about something called the scale factor, which is a bit hard to explain, but it's, I feel it's a bit easier to explain the acceleration of the scale factor. So basically... Oh, yeah, do tell me about that. So if you have, like, say, two galaxies, I'm not an expert at drawing galaxies. These may just look like um, the line integrals, I believe, but... They look um, like good galaxies to me. Um, okay, so if we have these two galaxies, and say they're at a distance d naught apart, at a time t naught, which by default at any time is the present age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. So, this is, so this is the age of the universe, and let's say we have this distance between galaxies at any one time, like say now, for example. However, at any later time, for example, a few seconds later, like now, then they would be a bit farther away. So, say, they would be a distance of d naught times the scale factor, which is represented by a, and th there is a function that is dependent on time, t minus t naught, a time t. So how much time has elapsed since then? And so I believe that this can all be described in an equation, d squared a over dt squared, which is essentially the acceleration of the scale factor, divided by a is equal to minus 4 pi g over 3. This pi g thing looks extremely similar to Einstein's field equation, by the way. Plus, um, I believe rho plus 3p. And so rho stands for the energy density of the universe. It's getting a bit cramped. And pressure stands for, well, the pressure acting on the universe. Oh, so that, that's an equation that describes the acceleration of the scale factor? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, very interesting. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. The Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science. <laughs>